Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a Terraria server using T-Shock. And T-Shock is basically, I wouldn't say a plugin, but I'd say something it runs off that helps it, that helps you run it better, like own it better, gives you a lot more control in your server, and that's pretty much it. So everyone usually uses T-Shock for their server, so first thing obviously is you want to download T-Shock, so you can just Google T-Shock. Click it here, go to the website, and I don't think I need to put this in the description because it's pretty easy to just Google T-Shock. Go to download, go to releases, and then you're going to want to download T-Shock 4.3.2.5.zip or whatever. Do it depends when you're watching this, it might be something later, later version of it. But that's the one I have, so I'm gonna download that one. And internet is revolting, so give it a sec. So I'm gonna pick that one up out of downloads when it finishes. Is it done yet? Yep, so it's done. So you wanna get T Shock. You want to I'm gonna just copy it out of there and I'm going to paste it into my desktop. Right there. So I'm going to make another folder. I'm going to call it Terraria Server. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to click Extract All. And I'm going to go Browse. And I'm going to want to put it in Terraria Server, which is, you know, the one we just made just then. Extract. If I'm going too fast or too slow, you can skip some or go back and rewatch it. But I'm hoping I'm just keeping a nice pace. So once we have put all that in there, we can put this into some random folder that you don't need anymore. And go back into our Terraria server. First things first, you're going to want to click... We're going to set our port forwarding up first, that should be the best thing. So we want to go into our internet. Um, actually, we're going to go into... Um, command prompt. So if you don't know how to go into command prompt, just go into search everywhere, type in CMD or command prompt. And you might know what this is, you might use it very often, or I don't know, it depends. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to type in IP config. And that's going to tell you all your IP address stuff and all the stuff you need to know. So you want to want to find one called default gateway. As you can see, mine is 10.0.0.138, and you're going to want to type that one into your Google search bar, 10.13, whatever it is, and that will get onto your, whatever it is, your, your, your browser, your, oh, what is it, your provider, your service provider. Then you want to, if you don't know what your password is, it's probably admin. Um, sometimes it won't even give you one. Um, your, your parents might know what it is. Okay, so now we're into our default gateway. We want to go into services. Um, everyone's uh, user interface, like mine, could be different. It could be with Telstra or I don't know the other ones in America or India or wherever you're watching from. So just find one that says services or look for one. Look for a, a button that says port forwarding somewhere. So you want to click port forwarding. You didn't make any changes, so we can just click yes. And as you can see, I already have my Terraria server running. So, right here, custom service name, we're going to put Terraria server, or whatever you want to put your service. Um, protocol, you want to go TCP uh, hyphen UDP. Uh, external port, you're going to make that the Terraria port forwarding, which is four sevens. Internal port will also be four sevens. Um, internal host. Now, I'm not sure if this is different for everyone. Mine is 10.0.0.1. See if we can find that in the command prompt. So see where it says IPv4 address and there's mine 10.0.0.1. Whatever yours is, if it's the same or different, it'll probably be different. That's what you're going to put in 
internal host, that number right there. So 10.0.0.1. And once you've done that, you're going to want to click add. And you can also keep <clears throat> this, you can just keep it other, you don't need to change it from anything. So you want to click add and then it's going to come up exactly like my one down here. And you want to click enable. Oh, sorry, my throat's a bit dry. Okay, so that should be your port forwarding done. So now we can close out of all this sort of stuff because we don't need it anymore. Alright, and you can close out of command prompt as well. So that was port forwarding. Now we're going to get into the actual Terraria server. <clears throat> so, first things first, you'll see you've only got one folder here. But if you boot up Terraria server, another one will be made for all the settings that you're going to want to use. So, give it some time to boot up. It should only take 5 10 seconds. Okay, and then it's going to be like, it's going to ask you to choose a world. Oh, I don't know if I can make this any bigger. Oops. Yeah, that's about it. So you can see I've got 19 worlds, some of them are just weird, don't blame me if I use Builders Workshop, don't need it anyway, in my servers I play on it. Ah, regardless, um, you either want to make a new world by pressing N, that was going to create a new world and it's going to give you some options, but for now we're going to keep it simple and I'm just going to choose the world, I'm going to choose the world cool, which is number 5, so we're going to click 5, max players, press enter for 8, so I'm the only one that's going to be playing, so I think I can just keep it 8. So press enter, server port, we set all our ports to 7777, which is the default Terraria one. Enter, automatically port forward, uh, forward port, you just have to click enter, you don't need to press Y or no. Server password, if you want a password you can make it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it poo poo. And then it's going to load up your Terraria server. Give it some time and then it's done so your server is currently online and other people can join but you haven't really touched in on any of the settings so before we get into this you can see in the back another folder has been made so we're going to do slash exit shut down that server and then that should go away okay first things first go into the, the T-Shock folder and this is where you can change everything set it to server side of the characters so people can't bring other characters in so first things first server side config.json so enabled false we want that true we don't want people bringing items in hmm starting health well I know some people suck so we're gonna boost that up to 200 for just starting health starting mana we're gonna put that at 80 and these are your copper pick, copper short sword, and copper axe, whatever they are. Uh, sorry, I just had to fix myself again. So since uh, I'm not going to change them this time, but I'm going to show you how you can change your starting items. So I'm just going to grab something like that. Control C. Underneath this one, we're going to go Control V, so we can paste it. Now net ID, if you want to give yourself say a portal gun or something, we'll go into terrari.gamepedia.com and we'll go in here and we'll go portal gun, it's right there. Um, I wouldn't recommend giving yourself a portal gun in an actual game first item but it's whatever you want to do, you know, that's what Terraria is, give yourself true might digging towards rock here or draw for team, you know, so. You can see right here, internal item ID, 3384, so we're going to copy that, we're going to paste it here, we don't need the hyphen, we're going to paste it like that, then we're going to press Control S or save, and we're going to leave it at that. Now, back into here, next thing is rules. Respect the admins don't use TNT. Pretty straightforward, you can change it to say Taz is cool. Whatever, that'll be work. Message of the day, that's what people get um, when they first join the game. Um, you can see it's got type help for a list of commands. Um, 
that's red, green, blue with the two percents on either side. Percent map percent will show you the map name and percent players percent will show you the player's name. So if we type in something like the best Terraria player is then it's going to show you a list of the players. So we can get Control S, we'll save that. And then we got um, the conf config file. That, so this is pretty much everything that the server runs on, kinda. If you understand me a little bit. So, uh, spawn protection true. So people don't just join the game and dig straight down. So your your spawn is safe from just loot killing yourself, pretty much. Max slots, you can put that at whatever you want. Eight people is fine. If you only want, if you want to have an actual server, I recommend putting about 150, or whatever you, whatever you want. Not too many because it could lag if it's not. If your internet's pretty weak. Um, remember leave position. Um, if you want people to, it's pretty straightforward. To remember leave position. Like if you're in the cave mining or in your base underground and you leave the game, um, you'll rejoin the game and you go back to where you left. So. And you can just go ahead and read through all these and you'll see that it's pretty straightforward. Tile kill threshold, here's one. So once you get into mid hard mode, late hard mode, and you start getting uh, shroomite digging claws, you know, you like your mining potions, mining armor, you tend to go through 60 um, tiles really fast. So you can probably buff that up to about 200 once you get there or else you'll just turn into a stone for like 10 seconds. So that's pretty much it. And yeah, go and read all this and you can just see what you want to change it. Uh, I'm not going to save whatever I changed to 10. Okay, and every time you boot the server, the server up, you'll get a little log at the top. That's going to tell you what you did. So I joined, I typed in slash exit and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to go back into Terraria server, Terraria server.exe. And we're going to load up the world cool. So, five. We're going to go eight players. That's the default port. Default port. Yes. Just press enter. Um, password can be pop. And it's going to load. And then it's going to give you this yellow writing. So it says. To become super admin, join the game and type slash or 2780818. And this is different every time uh, you create a new T Shock folder, which I do quite often because I'm pretty bad with them. But if you want to make a new server, I recommend um, making a whole new folder as well so you get a different auth code. So if you give it to other people, um, they don't have it for the next game. So. I'm going to try and remember that. Actually, no, I'm going to just type it in. 2780818. Yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to go Control C, save that one. And we're going to go into our Terraria server. Make that a bit of full screen, so go multiplayer. Join via IP and we'll give ourselves tests. So you're going to give yourself the IP of that. If that is, I think that's correct. We'll go command prompt again. We we'll always want to double check. IP config. I can't even spell config today. Hmm. Let's have a look. So I can't see that number anywhere here. So I think. You type in that number yourself, or your default gateway, whichever one works. I know I'm not. I probably should know this better, but one two seven point zero point zero point zero one. That's what we use. But if we're giving our, if we want other people to join, since we're hosting it, we want to go and give them our IP address. So we just go to Google. What's my IP? And it's going to tell you it right there. And you want to just send that to your friends who want to join, and they'll be able to. So, go back into our game. 
I'm going to click accept, port 777, enter, password, poop, I'm immature. And you're going to see that this is a world I've already used before, I didn't make a new one. And I can't move. So that's because I haven't registered yet, and I still have all my items. So this game's going to force me to register. So we go slash, register, and now we're going to need a password. So we're going to make the password poop again. Now we're registered. Now we have to log in. So slash, log in, poop. And now we're in the game. And you can see we have our portal gun as well. And we're also taking quite a bit of damage from that thing. So that's pretty much how to start your Terraria server from scratch. I don't even know what this map is like. I kind of want to get to that side. Anyway, and I probably w I might make another video showing you all the commands you can use in the game, like uh, God mode. I don't have access to this command. Ah, I should show you how to use Super Admin first. So, we're going to remember our code we just used. Now remember, if you use Super Admin on this account, the account that you use, um, your server... It's Super Admin is an admin account. It's not an actual playable account. So, don't expect your character to save every time you leave and rejoin, because it's just meant to be there just for admin purposes. If you want to make an actual account, I wouldn't recommend using the Super Admin command on it. You might just want to give yourself different group permissions, but we'll talk about that later. So you want to type in auth for authenticate and then your number. And that's going to give you all the commands that a admin would have. Like slash god mode, I'm in god mode now, and it's going to heal me every time I take damage. All that sort of stuff. So that's pretty much it. We'll just leave this game. Oh. One other thing, if you want your game to quickly shut down, you want to go into Terraria server, and you can also do stuff in here like slash broadcast hi, and down in here it's going to say hi, basically stuff like that. You can look on the T-Shock um, website and go over all the commands if you like, but to exit it, we go slash exit, and it's going to shut it. Shut it down straight away and it's going to close this. So, pretty straightforward. Um, if you need any help, just comment and I'll do my best. Otherwise, I think that should be it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.